So I've done a bunch of mods on my Tacoma so far, and today, after installing both the winch and the bumper, it's time to wire up the light bar. I've been driving around for a couple months with the light bar completely not wired up, just there for decoration, and it's time to fix that. If you wanna watch any of the bumper or light bar mounting videos, I will link those in the video description. This video is specifically going to talk about the wiring and the actual mounting of the light switch in the dash of the Tacoma. There's not many videos out there that show how to do this. We're not exactly sure how the dashboard comes out. I got my buddy Braxton here. He actually has a YouTube channel of his own. Hit that subscribe button if you want to support him. But if he stops posting weekly, hit the unsubscribe button. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> We're not sure how to do this. Feel free to join us as we take apart my truck. It's gonna, it's gonna be an interesting experience. Let's get started. All right, so I will link these in the video description. This is that little Tacoma switch that just kind of mounts with the factory switches in the dash. And then we have the wiring harness here, which connects to the light bar and then goes inside the cab through the firewall. So there's a couple different switch locations. There's one on the other side of the steering wheel, but I don't have any empty slots except for this one right here. So we're going to have to figure out how to pull this away from the truck. And Brax thinks he knows how. It should be pretty similar to the second gen Tacomas, which I've taken a lot out of my second gen. That's currently his truck right there, <laughs> taken apart. It's only got half a face right now making a small little adjustment, it'll be fine. All right, so what are we doing with this? So on the manuals, first thing you gotta do is twist this to the right and then drop it down so you're not pulling this whole section off and then unscrew the gear shift. And then that will let this section slide up and over the top. Next part is gonna be to pop this open. There's a little piece of carpet down in the bottom. Pull that out and just set it to the side. And then inside there's a couple bolts. All right, so we have the two 10 millimeter bolts out from inside of this little uh, container here. And then the center console part, this bottom section, comes off in a couple different pieces. There's some clasps. So this center part right here with the gear shifter comes up. And then the whole point of this, because we have the bolts out of the back, is to pull it away from the cab here. All right, so remember my truck is a manual, so an automatic might be slightly different, but there's also two screws before this whole center console can shift back. Um, one right here and then another one here on the side, just little Phillips heads. After those two screws are out, hopefully this whole thing can just pull back far enough. I don't see any extra wires there. Now, to get this piece of plastic off right here where all these uh, switches are, remember we have this one empty panel. So I have this bolt right here, and then another screw right down there, that Phillips head screw. And then there's one more on this side right here. And then Brax has one more on this end. This is the one that Zach just pointed out. And then right underneath, there's one more right there. All right, so after removing those bolts, the center console still wants to stay in place. So we're not gonna risk pulling it out the rest of the way. And I'm going to use a razor to just pop off this cap right here. Should be pretty straightforward. It's just got two little clips inside of it like that. So if I wanted to, I could just put it back into place too. And we should be able to put like a wire in here and pull up our cables that we need to from the bottom without removing this whole center piece of the console. We'll give that a shot. All right, so this light bar has the black back to it. I will link it in the video description. So my wiring from this light bar has just been kind of sitting inside of this. And I'll wrap this up inside of the cab here in a second. But this right here is the little connector for the wiring harness. And so the wiring harness will plug into that right there. And all of this is gonna be inside of the engine bay, which I'll show in a second. And then right here, this is all the stuff going to the battery. We have the ground and then the positive terminal. And then this stuff is going through the firewall into the truck. And this is the switch that comes standard with the light bar, but we are obviously gonna rewire it so it looks more professional and matches the rest of the buttons inside the cab. All right, so if you remember that wire that goes from the light bar, so that wire is right here off of this coming through the, uh, the front metal of the truck. And then that comes around to here. We have the red wire going to the red positive of the battery. And then the black wire is just bolted into the same ground that we use for the winch right here into the sidewall of the truck. And then this little relay thing is just bolted onto a random bolt that we have here. And then the rest of the wiring, this is for the switch, which is currently lit up, which is great news for us, which means if we press this, it should light up the inside of the warehouse. Kind of fun. So we'll take this switch, unplug it right there at that white point, and uh, put it through the firewall, and uh, we'll wire things up all nice and professional-like. All right, Brax, what are you doing now? 
So you got to get the end of the connection that goes to the relay through the firewall. So there's a little rubber gasket thing right here that we've got to get this piece through and it's not really the easiest thing to do. But we'll get it. This is like the third time I've done it, so kind of a veteran, I guess. All right, so if you remember, we were taking the wiring and bringing it into the truck through the firewall, and we have it underneath right here where my feet go, wrapped up, and then it pops out right here. So right now we have all of these switches in place except for this little guy right here, which we use to turn off and on the LED bar. Obviously, this is not what we want. What we want is another switch like this, which is more square and matches the other switches that are already mounted in the truck. I'll show you how to mount this. This is uh, from Amazon. I will link this in the video description. So in order to get this button to light up automatically when it clicks on and off, we need something called an Adafuse, which is this guy. It plugs into the fuse box and then has room for additional fuses up top, which will give power to the new switch that we install. All right, we're gonna use something called an Adafuse, but with that Adafuse, it extended the fuse box out too far so that the cap wouldn't fit on anymore. And I kind of want the fuse cap to fit on that little box. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna jerry rig a little thing into the button next to it so that it'll pull power from the button next to it to light up the button itself. And we're doing that by stripping down the wire that brings power to light up the buttons. And then we're wrapping the button that we're adding into that same line without actually cutting the wire. There's a couple different ways to do it. This is the way we're choosing. And then we'll insulate it with a little piece of electrical tape so it keeps it separate from the rest of the wires. The wire that was powering the lights inside of the button was the green wire. So to wire up the switch, the light bar has three separate wires and they come out of this black wire right here. You have your power, your ground, and basically a trigger that goes to a relay switch. So your ground is always gonna be your black one. Power in this case is the white. And then the one that triggers the light on and off is gonna be the blue one. And that's gonna to connect to one of the red wires on the switch. So if we follow this back to the switch, the one that needs to connect to the trigger wire for the light bar to turn on is gonna be the one that's right next to the green wire. And then the other red wire right here is gonna be the one that's connected to the dash lights. And that way when the dash lights come on, so does the light. And then when we trigger the light bar, the other one lights up. So once everything is wired back up, just feed the wires the inside. So it looks like it is slightly brighter than the rest of the buttons, but it is the same color and turns off and on with all the rest of them. And it works. So here we are inside of my truck. These are the normal lights. These would be the high beams, the brights, and then this is the LED bar. I think mine's kind of angled a little bit high. So I mean, it'll light up like all the trees and everything around me. But uh, let's go driving for a second. It's always nice to light up the trees in case there's any owls that you might hit. <laughs> <laughs> Just the brights with the LED bar. Mm no brights yes brights yeah i approve no brights yes led lights <laughs> really brings out the scenery of the trail it really does <laughs> it's like we're riding during the day all right we are finished everything is wired up the bumpers in place the lights in place and everything is working make sure you check out brax's channel super huge thanks to him for helping me wire this up brax has a bunch of different projects yeah i got a bunch of stuff on the second gen tacomas uh, i actually have a video where i show you how to get wireless charging in the second gen if you want to do that most of the third gens have it so go check it out thanks to for watching and we'll see you around peace